Hey everybody, this is Chris. Um, yeah, so I'm here. Uh, got a new little video I'm gonna put together here. It's uh, the ultimate wrestle crate. Uh, it's like 30 bucks. They sell it here in the United States. So if you're in the United States, you can get these for about about 30 bucks shipped. Um, I'm doing this basically because my Chiefs are losing right now in a really. It looks it's pretty embarrassing right now. Uh, Alex Smith just threw a a pick in the red zone, which well in our own territory I suppose but yeah we're not looking too good so maybe this will cheer me up a little bit so yeah I'm just gonna do this and open it up and I'm also doing another thing with the uh, NFL 2015 sticker book so yeah definitely uh, watch those videos too I'll have them up soon but I'm gonna put this one up first since I just got this in the mail today and I need something to cheer me up I guess I suppose but here we go I'm gonna open it up if I can you got to be 10% smarter than the equipment. Alright, so first of all, we got a Sting Vinyl Pop action figure. Whoa, it's not really an action figure, I guess. It's just a, a Vinyl Pop figure of Sting, which is really cool because um, now he's making his comeback. Unfortunately, um, spoiler alert, he uh, lost his match at, uh, what was it, Night of Champions or whatever the name of the pay-per-view was against uh, Seth Rollins. I like Seth Rollins, though, so... I've been following his career for a while. Um, yeah, so this Sting Pop WWE figure here. I don't really have a whole lot of those, but are these considered in action figures? I don't know. All right, so what else do we got here? We have Pentagon Jr. It's a Wrestle Crate uh, exclusive here. It's a little like a uh, keychain kind of thing where. Uh, or maybe just some sort of charm kind of thing where you can put it on something. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it's uh, I'm guessing that is a, uh, that's a Mexican wrestler. He probably wrestles for, uh, I don't know. If he wrestles in like Lucha Underground or something like that, I wouldn't know because I don't really watch a whole lot of like the uh, other stuff besides WWE, I guess, and NXT. But um, not as in-depth as I used to be now that I'm a student in graduate school. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's see what else we got. We got a t-shirt right here. Let me let me uh, fold this out and show you guys. I'm trying to see. I can't look at it upside down, but it does say heel on it. Is that Darth Vader? I'm going to look at it from my perspective. Yep, that's definitely uh, Darth Vader. And it says heel on it. That's actually a pretty cool shirt. I'm not going to lie. With the upcoming Star Wars movie, which I'm uh, extremely excited about, that's that's definitely cool. A little bit of uh, cross-referencing there between uh, wrestling and the, uh, the sci-fi stuff. That's that's definitely a cool shirt. Yeah, that's that's unique. Last uh, last month was my first month, and there was a um, NWO Wolfpack related. Well, actually, technically, it was uh, you know uh, Bullet Club, whatever. But it was originally done by the NWO, the Too Sweet thing, with the, with the Wolfpack thing, like that. You know. Yeah. But anyway. So I guess this guy here that we got, he, we also got a sticker for him. Cero Miedo. I don't even know what that means. Like, my Spanish is very, very uh, limited. I just, yeah, got some packing in there. Um, yeah, but I guess his, his uh, name in Spanish is Cero Miedo. I don't know. I probably sound like such a white dude trying to say that. Um, let's see. What else we got here? We got Vintage Wrestling for All Ages. Huh. I don't know what that is. Is it a card for like a uh, event that's coming up? Might need to bust out the knife for this. Huh. It looks like it looks like it's some sort of ad for an upcoming um an upcoming wrestling event that's happening or it's in Ohio. I'm nowhere near Ohio. I'm in Texas, so it doesn't really help me out. I'm gonna open this real quick and see what's because it's taped together. So oh sweet oh it it totally it's oh it's from May 8th. Oh I was like I thought it was an advertisement or something. But no, you open it up. I mean it looks like a DVD of uh, these fine gentlemen and probably ladies in there too performing. That's pretty cool. Yep, and on the back's the card. That's pretty cool. Very minimalist packaging. I thought it was a, a little card saying, hey, come to this event. But now it's it's the DVD of it. But 
I've never seen something in such slimline packaging like that before. Okay, what else do we got here? WWE Superstars, Mick Foley, the Money in the Bank, with John Cena, Randy Orton, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, and more. I wonder how old this is. It's got the old WWE logo on it, so... Look at it. It's a, it's, a, it's a book, and... Oh, it's like a comic book! It's a WWE comic book. Um, in, in past, uh, past generations where they've had comic books involving WWE, um, they've been pretty bad. They've been pretty bad. Um, but I'm hoping this one's good. It's, I like the illustration. I like the art style. But, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll read it. I like comic books. But, yeah, that's, that's a thing that's in there. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have... Oh, I know somebody who's going to like this a lot, actually. This is uh, a little card of Stardust, who is um, Cody Rhodes, actually. He was uh, Dusty Rhodes' son, Dustin Rhodes' brother. Uh, I really like him. I like the character. I haven't really paid attention to what they're doing with him lately, but I like that he's kind of like turned into something different than just Cody Rhodes, because there's not really a whole lot of gimmick wrestlers in the WWE right now, so... I think gimmicks are good, you know, what the New Day's doing, the over-the-top stuff that they're doing is pretty fun. Uh, just having dudes with just plain names like Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, you know, they, I'm, they're not as interesting as guys like, you know, Stardust. And, you know, Goldust, is, his brother, has definitely with, withstood the, t the test of time when it comes to, you know, gimmicks and things like that. But, yeah, that's, that's definitely a cool little illustration there. I know somebody that will like that. Um, and then we have... Somebody, some, uh, I'm guessing an indie wrestler, female wrestler. She's got two different colored eyes. I don't know her name. I can't tell. It's like, oh, it's Blue Pants. Oh, my God. That's, how did I not notice that? I, I looked at her face, and I was like, wait a minute. That's familiar. And then, yeah, that, that's Blue Pants. That's awesome. Yeah, so um, if you watch NXT like I do, um, I don't know if she's signed yet to them permanently, but, um, yeah, that's. I, I think she deserves a spot. the The crowd really loves her, and I think she's she's talented. So, I mean, if anything, she deserves a chance being a uh, permanent member of the NXT roster, and maybe get a call up. You never know. I personally, if you know me, you know that I love Bailey, and she's awesome. So, uh, she'll get called up soon enough. She's got she's got the belt. So, I think she still has the belt. I haven't watched. I need to catch up on NXT. I've just been so busy with school, but you know. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Let me open this back up and see if there's anything in there. Nope, see, I'm going to empty it out. Nope, nothing in there. Um, yeah, so so just a little recap what we got here. We got a Blue Pants autograph um, uh, picture here, 8x10, which uh, will go next to my uh, Young Bucks one, which I had from last month. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, to be honest with you. I've got, there's only, there's only one thing that's on my wall that's autographed by a, a wrestler, and that is... Uh, when I met Bailey, she uh, personally autographed a photo for me and everything, and that's right next to some other things that I have from um, my buddies in Icarus the Owl, a band. You should go check them out. But yeah, uh, we got this, this sweet comic book here. Yeah, look at all those illustrations and stuff. Yeah, pretty. I don't know how to draw, so I can't really judge art. We got the heel shirt with uh, Darth Vader on it, which is pretty cool. That is definitely cool. I, 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 normally, when it comes to wrestling shirts, I won't wear them. Like, I just don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear them out in public. I would totally wear this out in public, believe it or not. Yeah, I would. Um, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, I would. I, 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 I'm sitting here trying to convince myself that whether I would or not, but not, yeah, I would. It's, it's nothing, like, too over the top, I suppose. Then I got the Sting. The Sting uh, pop vinyl here. I'm not really a big collector of the pop vinyl. I think I think the Sting one. It, it kind of looks weird. Like I don't know. His his head's misshapen. Like I know they're all misshapen, but I mean, I don't know. I I, th I would rather have like a like an action figure type thing. Like uh, what they had last month. They had a I got a Bully Ray from uh, TNA. So it's nice to see him back with his brother Devon. That's that was great to see him. Uh, them at uh, Night of Champions, which was. Uh, I thought that match was pretty fun, especially the end where uh, Xavier Woods played the Final Fantasy fanfare. That was that was a lot of fun. And we got the Stardust card here. That's, that's really cool. I love the artwork there that they did. We got a DVD, which I'll have to watch that. Um, I'll find somebody who might watch it with me. 
but I wonder if I know any of the names on there. Probably not, because, I mean, some of the names sound familiar, but I'm not, like, I haven't been in indie wrestling in a while, so. And then we got, I can't even remember the name of this guy. I, I, what did I do with the sticker? I don't know. I don't know. I, I put a sticker somewhere, and now I've lost it. That's typical me. I would lose a sticker. Is it? Nope. Okay, well, I don't know where the sticker is, but there was a sticker that comes with this guy. It's this guy. That's cute. I know somebody will like this, too. Miedo. Cero Miedo. That's his name, right? I don't know. It's not even on here. Yeah, it is. Pentagon Jr. Uh, that's probably what that means in Spanish. I'm dumb. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, for 30 bucks, I mean, this is like 10 bucks. I mean, I value a DVD nowadays at about like, you know, five or five to seven dollars. Something like this, you know, at a couple bucks. Something like this, maybe like a dollar. That's how much nice postcards go for, I suppose. The autograph picture, you know, um, I mean, Blue Pants autograph's pretty cool. I mean, they sell them at NXT events, like, you know, autograph photos for like, uh, usually about five bucks is how much I paid for my Bailey one. And, uh, yeah, and the t-shirts, you know, probably 10 to 15 bucks. So, I, I, and then the comic book by it, so, you know, that's probably like, you know, eight to 10 bucks. I would say it's definitely worth it. Like, you probably get your values. It, it, and it's, it's nice to have something, you know, cheer you up if you're having a bad day, like my Chiefs are right now. But, you know, that's, that's that. That's pretty much the ultimate Russell Crate for this month, which is September. Man, I'm getting old where, like, the months just fly by. But next month's my birthday, so hopefully um, I'll get something really cool. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you like this video. If you, if you want to, subscribe. I got other stuff coming up. And, uh, yeah, I got more Russell Crate, you know. That's going to be next month, so there's no point in me reopening last month. But, hey, I'm pretty happy with what I got here. That's, it's definitely worthwhile. I would say I would say that there's uh, there's there's some redeeming value and you know I don't really like Loot Crate because or I had Nerd Block once and I bought it didn't really like a lot of the stuff that was in it and I ended up giving about mm, seventy to eighty percent of it away. Sometimes I would get stuff in there that I could sell on eBay and make up some of the value back, but um, for the most part I didn't I really gave a lot of the stuff away. And here I think there's a lot more stuff that I'm going to end up keeping and using than giving away. So I say that's a win-win. And even if I find a bunch, of, I have a couple things in here that I could give away that I think people would really like. So, I mean, there's there's value in that to me too, because they can substitute Christmas presents. So there's there's that. So yeah, yeah. If you like this, just subscribe. I'm gonna have more of this stuff coming up. So and other things. So yeah. See you later.